guys, in this video we're going to make a custom main menu using FXGL. Um, you will need a newer version of FXGL which is 005. Um, there will be a link in the description so if you click on that it will send you to that page where you can download, um, first of all click on 005 and then click raw and you'll be prompted by a download um, window where you can um, click save. So once you've downloaded the jar you can either copy and paste it into lib folder of your project or simply drag it over and then click uh, copy. Once you've done that um, we will need to update the project build. So if you go to um, if you right click on your project properties Java build path and you should have 004 here if you've been following if you've been following um, previous tutorials so just remove that add jar um, navigate to your lib folder and click 005 okay so this will update your project with the newer version of the FXGL it is backwards compatible with um, 04 so everything will still work and today we're going to do a very simple menu. So that's tutorial 21. Um, just name your class FXGL menu test app or whatever. Really, it doesn't matter. These are the imports, and our application basically does nothing, just has um, the menu. So when we run it, we will see a very basic menu that will allow you to um, do certain things like start the game which is nothing and you can um, exit from the main menu so the settings we in, um, initialize the width and height with um, these values and um, we'll have the um, main entry point now this is the new thing um, it is not an abstract method it is just a um, if you go to sort of, you can right click um, on or just click on um, the arrow that points up so you will be um, shown the source code of FXGL and this is the init main menu method which does nothing as you can see it is not abstract, so if you don't implement it, um, nothing uh, will happen. So you'll still be able to compile and run, as opposed to those methods which need to be implemented. So uh, once you do override it, um, you will need to provide implementation for the menu. If you don't, then the game will start immediately. And actually, the specifications for main menu is if the root doesn't contain any children um, and hence there is nothing to show the game will think that there is no menu and it will start the game immediately so what we're doing here is we are creating a rectangle which is as, as wide and high as our screen uh, by default it will have um, a color black as the um, fill color. We then create an instance of font um, and um, this is the size of um, text or text um, font size. Then we create a button start, then set font and then set an action. Set an action means whenever a button is clicked and whenever this button is clicked we start the game. Button exit, um, pretty much the same thing, um, and on click we do exit. If you want to manually exit from the game application um, using FXGL, then just uh, call exit method. This will clean up um, everything for you and will make it easier to shut down the whole thing. Then we have a vertical box which contains um, our buttons, so button start. So this is basically native um, JavaFX and FXGL is tightly integrated with JavaFX so that you could use 
um, and JavaFX and um, FXGL. So vertical box space. This is the spacing, which is um, the amount of pixels between two elements, and in our case, that's between button start and button uh, button exit. We then place our uh, vertical box where we want. So this is um, in x direction. This is in y direction. And finally, um, we use this object, which is passed uh, by the game application to obtain children and then add to the number of children our background first and then vertical box and this gives us um, this menu and we can actually um, take this method copy it, copy it to the uh, previous tutorial so which is fxgl wars app and um, I actually did so um, just place it here somewhere uh, because the whole project is updated to use 0 0.5 every um, package of your project will use the new version of FXGL so this is the thing that we did um, in the previous tutorial so I'm not gonna cover any, any of that just this part and if we start it instead of starting the game because there are children um, in the menu route it will display the menu first. Obviously you can change it to anything you want and we've covered some pretty cool tutorials on how to do uh, custom game menus so if you want to you can easily add them um, to this method and have a very nice custom game menu. So we're going to click start and the game starts. So um, and if you want to go back to that window, what you can do is have uh, or add key type binding. We're not doing key press binding because we don't want uh, the method to be called many times, just once. Um, say escape. So when we click escape, um, the game will prompt us with the main menu and you can do this by calling open main menu. If you're not sure what methods are available to you then this uh, the, this keyword is very useful so just type this dot and Eclipse will uh, give you all the things you can call. Most of that will be uh, coming from game application and only a few of them from the actual JavaFX application. So as you can see we can call open main menu and you can also see the java doc um, in here which is the java documentation so we're going to do this so we start the game and when we press escape um, the game menu will appear and the game will be paused automatically so start basically now means resume and the game will be resumed and you can also uh, exit the application. And this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.